be on my boxes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cat. <laughs> right, cat? Yeah. Gosh, Ruby's being a sad right now. Ruby, is that your is that your toy? Oh, she knows. She knows it wasn't her toy. <laughs> you have toys upstairs. Thursday's video on um, this week because I just like kind of got the idea that I'm gonna start making videos on Thursdays and Sundays maybe I'll change the day we'll see but I'm just waking up and a lot of people in the past have asked me about like my diet which isn't crazy complex so I guess I'll break down what I'm gonna be eating um, during my summer shredding phase if you want to call it that I'm just really trying to Drop a couple of pounds this summer, you know, lean out for the boys, look good and whatnot. So this is my first meal, it's nothing crazy. You guys caught me on a high carb day, I'm carb cycling. So this week's video I'm going to go over my high carb day, and then next week's video I'll go over my low carb day, which is not as cool as my high carb day, it's actually really fucking boring. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. <laughs> you calm down. <laughs> this isn't for you, Ruby. Your food's over there. Stop begging. But anyways, this is my first meal of the day. It's two servings of cream of rice, one half cup of blueberries, and then Kat's making me three whole eggs with a cup of egg whites and a bunch of veggies. It's legs later today, it's a high carb day, so we're gonna fuel up. Blueberry and cream of rice, mmm, -hmm. shit boy. I'm hyped, it's been three days since I've been on my low uh, carb days for this carb cycle, so I'm about to fucking be feeling good in the gym today. Hit a little bit of legs. If I get to eat a little bit of pasta tonight, you feel me? Garlic bread. Ooh, some garlic bread. Mmm. Life's not bad today, boys. Life's not bad. You like the ball, Bubba? Give me that shit. Give me that shit, boy. What's up, baby? <laughs> Yum. Yum. Those are the three eggs and a cup of egg whites with some salsa. Yes. Mmm. And spinach. Thanks, babe. That shit looks busting. Chef Cat keeps me right. For what? You're charging Fred five bucks for those eggs. Remember that, boys? That's a dollar a bucket egg. That's fucked. Fred's down bad, you don't let him starve. <laughs> Are they normal fucking egg whites? Oh wait, you don't have egg whites? Oh, I got egg whites. Do you want normal eggs? I got normal eggs. So, I was just gonna see if you're a nice person or not. Well, I'm just saying you It was a test, it was a test. I have a plethora of whole eggs if you actually do need some right now. A plethora. <laughs> I like how you responded with that. What's the, what's the word? You use Infinitesimal? <laughs> it's a word. It means a very large number. I know, I know but I just What was that in response to again? That, it was something stupid. Uh, oh, right oh yeah, yeah, the guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, oh my god, Jack. I was like, this <laughs> word. That motherfucker probably don't even know what that word means. Know. Came right after you said the word on Google. What does infinitesimal mean? How do I respond to this? This side of the Mississippi. This side of the Mississippi. Best cream, best cream of rice in the 50 states. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what my great grandma would say. Great pappy. Booby's bulking and he still keeps that no calorie syrup. That's how you know he's dedicated. He ain't new to this. He true to this. Back with meal number two for my high carb day. K 
cat is preparing it for me because she's the best. You want to walk us through what you got going on? Face mask girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so corn for the carbs and then... Veggies for more carbs. Chicken Half breast. an avocado. What is it? Eight ounces of chicken breast or six, six ounces? ounces? Six ounces. It's less protein on my higher carb days. I'll break down like my numbers for my higher carb days towards the end of this video. And then I'm also going to answer questions uh, that you guys asked me on my IG just to kind of lengthen this video. Like I was saying, like, uh, I'm still going to try and get my footing with these Thursday videos make them fun it's not always going to be fitness related it's just going to be the boys um we're definitely going to take a look at the fighting rhinos and the mighty weasels down the road just to kind of get a little background information on the athletes that really put out for us on the court every single day so that we can be entertained so um yeah we'll definitely be doing videos like that on thursdays but yeah this is meal number two i'm about to down this and then i have legs in a little bit I have a pre-gym snack that I'm going to eat right before I go train legs. I'll show you what it is. It's just a protein bar. And then I'll go hit legs. I'm not going to film the whole workout, you know. This isn't one of those montage videos. But uh, I'll show you a little bit of the highlights. I think Booby and Fred are going to go around the same time, so maybe we'll just fuck around and talk. All right, boys. That's meal number two. Ten ounces of corn, cup and a half of vegetables. Half an avocado and six ounces of chicken. About to smack it. My plate versus cat. It's like a little miniature version of mine. <laughs> I'm bullying. <laughs> All right, so I let meal two settle for a little bit. I got dressed, I'm about to go train legs. This is what I have on my high carb days before I go to the gym. It's literally gonna be a protein bar two rice cakes, a teaspoon of fucking jelly, and a teaspoon of peanut butter, or tablespoon. Let me check real quick. <laughs> we gotta get all that we can, boys. Oh, you're a naughty little rice cake, aren't you? Alright, so we're about to go to the gym. I let that food settle from earlier. This is my pre-gym snack on my higher carb days. It's literally just two rice cakes, a tablespoon of peanut butter, a tablespoon of jelly, and one Kirkland Signature Brand Protein Bar. And then I got some Oreos for during the workout. Just two though. We gotta make them last. Leg day pre. I'm going with jungle juice today, gorilla mode. You know what the fuck it is, boys. Nah, we'll do two scoops of nitric actually. I want to get that nasty thing on. Everybody's dropping my drop top, hella fuck cops Cause I won't never stop, hit the bins and I pop that lock Screaming motherfuck the law while I run around the block Bitch I'm so fucking sick with the shit that I spit Watch them all get hit till I fucking get rich Motherfuckers know what it is Suicide, give a fuck about life, bitch I'm ready to die Scrim ain't shot, scrim just hot Fuck all your busters, ain't shit in my eyes Brain no fright, call them by mine To kill all you fuckers and piss on your mothers Call it what you want and call it how you see One thing I know y'all ain't fucking with me One thing I know y'all ain't fucking with me it was up to me, I will fuck it up Fuck everything, bust a nut Young mutt, never smiles, gotta cut me one On my flip flow dialing 911 I need to pick me up, so come and pick me up So I can pick me up About 60 bucks worth of sticky nuts Just a quick re-up, then I'm up, up and away Bitch, I'm great, take me to my fucking grave Bitch, I'm broke, like the bone in your back Get the fuck up off my way Let me drown in peace, bitch Bring a gun to the beach, bitch Blow my brains away Grey matter scattered in the sand Surfing blood-soaked waves That's a wrap for legs for me today. Pretty gnarly. Um, coach has me doing a bunch of shit that I'm not used to normally doing, so I'm excited to see the results. I've never had a coach before, and it's just a good experience, I feel like, so I'm hyped about that. 
I'm about to go see what I'm gonna eat when I get home, but I'm done. I'm just waiting on Kat to finish up her little workout, and we're about to go finish up eating the rest of the day. What's next? What's on the menu, Kat? We got... Lucky Charms, baby! For post-workout. I get two servings of Lucky Charms, 16 ounces of almond milk, and two scoops of whey protein. That's gonna be my post-gym meal, and then in a little bit, I'm gonna have one more high carb meal tonight. What is it? Pasta, right? Pasta, Pasta red garlic sauce, bread. and garlic bread. Cat, <laughs> mm. are you really eating Lucky Charms right now? There's red 40 in it, or whatever the fuck it's called. I know, I'm only. Cat has this you. thing where she's hella paranoid about red. What is it, red 40? Red 40. Dye red 40. Dye red 40. Look it up. It's no, so it's not. Bad it's not you. good for you and shit. Whatever. I needed gluten-free cereal for my meal plan this week, and Lucky Charms was like the only option I had at the store I was at, so I was like, fuck it, I'll get some Lucky Charms. <laughs> when I was a kid- That's my shit. When I was a kid, I picked out uh, all the marshmallows out of the whole bag, ate them all, and then I puked, and my parents were so mad. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna eat that. I'm gonna take Ruby on a little walk. Maybe we'll bring Tank's bitch ass too. Um, Three wishes. This shit's hella good. Oh no, this is gluten free. Where's it? Where'd you get this at? Oh, you get it at Sprouts. It's hella good. I it's don't shop good. at Sprouts. I'm not a hippie. Well, my girlfriend goes there, so <laughs> we went there. How many ounces? Sixteen. Twelve to sixteen. Say less. Alright Cap, break it down. What's the last meal? Six ounces chicken, um, like a cup of sauteed veggies, garlic bread, and then hella cheese and marinara sauce and noodles. This is the last meal for my high carb day out of gas. This is probably the best meal of the week in my opinion, unless I'm having a cheat meal. so. I'm about to munch that down, and then we'll get into those questions that you guys asked me on Instagram earlier. Boys, that was a complete run-through of everything that I'm going to be eating on my high-carb days, or at least what it's looking like right now. Where the fuck is my lighter? I'm about to lose it, boys. Someone moved that shit and didn't tell me. No, but, uh, oh, I found it. It's my needle dick lighter. Anyways, that's a full run through of what uh, like a high carb day is going to look like for me moving forward for the time being. If you watched my last episode, you guys saw that I got like an actual coach who's putting me on a program who's going to be handling my nutrition and stuff because it's something that I've always wanted to do. And I don't mind sharing uh, like the process with you guys if it's something that you're interested in. Um, I don't necessarily love making food videos, but if you feel like you would get something out of it. I'm down to do it every once in a while and it'll make making Thursday's videos a little bit easier if you're not gonna like The flow of things how I see my YouTube channel moving forward at least for the time being is like Thursday's videos are gonna be a little bit shorter Not as many like in-depth edits like you know how I like making my videos little movies I'm not gonna be doing as much of that in my Thursday videos It's just gonna be more like what I'm up to during the week what my diet's looking like maybe if I take Ruby on a hike You'll get to see a little bit of that, but um, let's get into those Instagram questions after I fucking rip this shit. Blueberry diesel, baby. All right, dude, so check it out. I was going to upload the videos that I recorded last night answering the Instagram questions and for whatever reason, the quality on it was shit. I don't know what happened to my camera, so I'm just gonna redo it now real quick because I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. I thought about just not putting it in, but I said, you know what? I told the boys I was gonna do it, so I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna pick five from the questions on Instagram. If you have a question for me that you want answered in YouTube videos, I'll probably be doing this more often, especially on my Thursday videos, so just let me know. Um, if that's something you guys would be interested in, but I'm only gonna pick five real quick. I'm gonna keep it brief. Let's go. 
the Palo. It's, I don't know how to say your Instagram name, bro. It's it's something crazy, but tips for newbies looking to get big like you. I'm assuming you're talking about me, brother. Um, my biggest tip for dudes that are just getting into the gym, especially you younger guys, is bro, don't be so eager to throw up big numbers. Take the time to learn the basics about working out, perfecting your form, and the big numbers will come. I just see a lot of young kids that wanna get really into lifting really quickly and you know that they're trying to push too much weight, weight that they're not ready to push. So my biggest piece of advice is just uh, learn as much as you can about form, about taking care of your body and just be a student of the game when it comes to lifting. Um, don't be too eager to put up big numbers and eat big bro, eat big. Isaac Conchola 24 asked me, what made you want to get a coach? Uh, getting a coach is something that I've always wanted to do uh, for a number of reasons, but the main reason is because I just think it's a really good way to intensify training. Like, uh, I love the coach-athlete relationship. My dad growing up was a football coach, and I just, I, I like having a coach. I feel like it's a great way to, um, like I said, intensify training. So that was my main reason behind getting a coach, and I'm excited to see how it goes. The most effective way to grow your core. Um, okay, there's not like one exercise that is going to like blow your core up, like the most effective way of training your core. I'd say the most effective or the most important thing you could be doing is just make sure that you're training core consistently. Um, a lot of people are lazy with it. Uh, if you really wanna develop a nice core, I would definitely implement it at least four days a week into your training split. I train core almost every single day. Um, so yeah, I guess consistency is what it really comes down to. Just make sure you stay on top of it more so than anything. Okay, Big Daddy 23 asked me, how do I get into making videos? I'm assuming you're talking about like fitness videos. Hey, if it's something that you want to do, bro, just do it. Like, uh, I don't really have a huge in-depth answer for that. A lot of people ask me, yo, how do I do this? How do I get into making fitness content? Bro, you just got to do it at the end of the day. Like stop overthinking it. Just make something that you think is cool that you like to make that you had fun making and put it out and see how people respond and then adjust your content based off of that that's my advice for anyone who's looking into making like videos or making fitness content janessa peters asked me do i ever wake and bake uh actually i don't i don't really just um i won't smoke until i'm like ready to go to the gym because i like smoking before i go to the gym um, and then I'll smoke at night before I go to sleep, but I don't wake up and wake and bake because um, I feel like that's a good way to just kind of just get couch locked all day if I if I smoke and then I go work out I just feel like it kind of it kind of cancels out like the the lethargic effects that cannabis can have and I just go work out and I feel really good and then I just get on with my day But no, I don't I don't usually wake and bake sometimes I will if I have like a rest day or something but not often but anyways, those are five questions. I hope you guys like this little video. It's a Thursday vid, not as many edits. It is what it is, but a uh, new video on Sunday. I appreciate every one of you guys using my code. You guys kill it. Thank you. P-Way.